This one is called My Missing Neighbor. Horror story animated from Watson Entertainment. So let's check it out. This incident happened when I was around 10 years old. I lived in a small village. There were about 100 people in the town and there was a lady who used to live next door. She was a very kind person. She used to bake cookies to give us, bring flowers sometimes. Oh, ain't that so nice. I mean, everybody in the town loved her. Until one day she went missing. Uh -oh. All the neighbors tried to look for her. We even reported to the police to make a search Mary for her. She was never found anywhere. Mary Beth. Where are you, Mary she Beth? Been for years, she looked like a Mary Beth. And there had been rumors around the town that she had committed suicide. However, I didn't believe she looked like a Mary or a Susan. I knew that she would never do such a thing. A few years later, I became 16. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. She probably didn't commit suicide. She probably ran them, then run away. She probably watching y'all this whole time and getting with the pounce on y'all. So, y'all better be watching. We found that there was a storage container while we were hanging around the town. And to be specific, it had been there since I was 10, but I never wanted to open it since it stank of something rotten so badly. Oh, no. Hey, can you open that door? One oh. of my friends started to tease me. And as a stupid teenager, I didn't want to be a loser. Don't. So I decided my mind. Don't. It was really hard to it. open when I grabbed the door, but I tried strongly. And when the door had opened, he did it. What I found at that moment still creeps me out to this day. There she was. It's Mary Bell, aka Susie. Directions. She had no eyeballs. All the organs oh. were empty, and the maggots were oh. on her body everywhere. Oh my God! Look. It was literally awful. Smelling inside stench, mm. I cried and called my parents. And they immediately called the police. What? After that, the police started. Never mind about the pouncer. She ain't gonna do that. Eventually, detected who it was. She gone, y'all. She gone. It turned out it was a man who was living in our village. Wow. The police told my parents that she was murdered that night when all the neighbors tried to find her. I'm glad the criminal was arrested. Dang. Finally, but I still can't stop thinking about her death to this day. I, I feel sorry for her. I hope she can rest in peace. I hope so too, man. See, that's one thing about being nice, man. I'm a nice person myself. But it's some people in this world that take advantage of that, man, and try to do something to you. That's why when you be nice, you gotta you gotta gotta wash your back. Cause some people would try to take advantage of that and try to do you dirty. Like that did homegirl right here. That did baby girl. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Dang. He had to kill her, man. She, all she wanted to do was give the neighbors flowers and cookies. That's all she wanted to do. Just be nice to people. Man, come on. I hope he never get out of jail. Because that's, man, that's messed up. That's messed up. That is messed up, man. Cause I'm a nice person myself, man. I love to treat people with respect. You know, treat people with kindness. That's that's all I know. But man, I gotta wash my back. Shoo, cause some people, man, they be tripping. They be tripping, tripping. So you guys be safe out there, okay? And stay safe, stay blessed. Love and peace and all that good stuff go with. Subscribe to my channel. Try to post every, every once, every week. Till next time, I'm out. Mm -hmm.